Have you ever wondered or been curious how much it costs to water your lawn? I'm Sprinkler Dandy, and in this video, we are gonna look at how many gallons it takes to water your lawn and how much money that water costs you. Cool. So to do this, we're gonna use the example of a football field. And the reason I'm using the example of a football field is because we can visualize it. We know what a football field looks like. And at the end of this video, I'll break it down to how much it costs to water a quarter acre lot. So let's go ahead and start with a football field. I'm gonna draw this up here for us. There's our football field. We know that a football field is approximately 300, oops, let me go back is approximately 360 feet by 160 feet. And when we multiply those two numbers together, we get a total of 57,499 square feet. But for this example, I also wanna convert it to an acre because if we know the acreage of a football field, then you can run these numbers backwards. And if you have a 10th of an acre of turf grass, you could calculate that out, you know, on the average on what we're talking about here today. So let's convert a football field over to acres. So the first thing we have to do is know how many square feet are in an acre. That's 500, 43,560 square feet. And when you do this math, what you get is 1.32 acres. That is the size of a football field. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Put this number back, we have 1.32 acres. Now, what we're gonna do is assume that we're watering the grass one inch of water. That is typical throughout a season is the plant water requirement for turf grass is about one inch of water per week. It's going to be more in the peak summer and it'll be less in the shoulder seasons and depending on what area of the country you live in, what type of grass you have, it can vary. But a general rule of thumb is about one acre inch of one inch of water per week. And it actually helps us make the math pretty simple because in order to understand how many gallons are across 1.32 acres, what we wanna understand is how many gallons are in one acre. So if we have one acre, this is a known uh, standard number, one acre um, inch, actually, let's make sure I write that. One acre inch is equal to 27,154 gallons. That's how many gallons are in an acre if you applied one inch of water. And again, that's approximately the plant water requirement. So to understand how many gallons that is across the football field, which is 1.32 acres, we just multiply 1.32 by 27,154 gallons and we get 35,000 843 gallons. There it is, folks. 35,843 gallons to apply one inch of water across a football field. And again, that's for one week. Next up, let's talk about water cost. For this example, I'm using the city of Ann Arbor, Michigan, because I'm in Michigan and the University of Michigan football teams are doing pretty good. So let's just assume this is how much water uh, or what the water cost at the big house, all right? And a lot of water agencies have two rates. One is the water rate, one is the sewer rate. If you have a deduct meter on your irrigation systems, oftentimes you don't have to pay the sewer rate, okay? So in Ann Arbor, Michigan, the, oops, the water alone costs $11.17 per CCF, and the sewer rate costs $6.33 per CCF. And what a CCF is, is 100 cubic feet. Again, it's a number that doesn't mean that much unless you're in the water business, then you know what it means. But we need to know is gallons. We need to know the price per gallon. So what is known is that a hundred cubic feet is equal to 748 
gallons, all right? So that's our magic number, 748 gallons. When you run that math, the water only rate in Ann Arbor is 0 0.015 cents, about a penny and a half. The sewer rate is 0 0.008. Okay, or a little bit less than a penny. For this example, we're gonna combine the total because not everybody has a sewer deduct meter on their irrigation system. So the combined cost of water in Ann Arbor, Michigan is 0 0.0235 cents per gallon. Okay, almost two and a half cents, not quite. That is the cost per one gallon of water. When you think about it, it's pretty amazing, right? How much do you pay for a bottle of water at Starbucks? <laughs> it's like 3000% markup. Anyway, topic for another day. So now let's run our math. And we know that we were using 35,843 gallons for the football field, right? That was our total consumption for one acre inch. And we know that the price of water is just under two and a half whoops, cents. So the total cost of the water, when we multiply that out together, we get $842.31, okay? And as a reminder, that is per week. Crazy, isn't it? $842.31 per week. All right. Now, if that was to water a football field, and the football field is 1.3 acres, not many lawns, well, there's some, but most lawns are not quite that big. And again, if you're on a quarter acre lot, keep in mind your house takes up space, your driveway takes up space. There's other things on your property that might not be irrigated. This is not just a flat turf grass um, landscape, okay? But I want to go over with you what the costs are for a quarter, I don't know why I just drew that, for a quarter acre, okay? I already ran the numbers backwards for you and a quarter acre lot would use 6,788 gallons, okay? And when we multiply that number times the 0 0.235 uh, price per gallon, what we get is a combined water total of $159.52, okay? And again, this is for a week, okay? A quarter acre lot, if it was just turf grass and we applied one inch of water, 6,788 gallons for a total cost of $159.52, okay? The final thing that I wanna review with you is what that looks like per cycle. If you watered three days a week, okay? If we had three watering days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, this is talking about alarm clock mode, not smart controller mode. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, your system comes on at 9 a.m. and it waters, and at the end it applied one inch of water, you would have three watering applications. And we had our total, remember, of $159.52. We divide that by three. We have a daily or an application total of $53.17, okay? That's every application, $53.17 or each day, okay? Now, the reason that's important is because there's a lot of talk about rain sensors and do rain sensors save money, yada, yada. And what I can tell you is that when you, if a rain sensor skips another cycle, you are could now save $53, right? Every time your irrigation system runs, it's going to cost you $53.17. So if it doesn't run, you save that. Let's say your irrigation professional wants is going to charge you $200 to install a rain sensor. That means if it skips four times, 
it just paid for itself, okay? What this also means is that if your contractor comes and starts up your sprinkler system in late April, maybe in May, maybe even in June, and they turn that dial to auto, it's going to start watering like this, unless, there's some, unless they've done something else to change run times, et cetera. So every time it runs, it could be costing you $53, or it could be $5 if you only have a small turf grass. So keep in mind, water is money, and every time your system doesn't water, you save money. So you just, I'm saying this, so you can make your own decisions on how to save water on your system. But if we start by looking at that football field and we break down those calculations to a quarter acre of turf grass, one inch of water a week, watering three days a week, it's a application total of $53. And that's real money. So. There's our math for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or you want help running your own calculations or finding out your own, you know, the size of your landscape, we're happy to help. You can reach uh, me down below if you want to schedule a technical support call or something like this. And you can reach my team at Sprinkler Supply Store by phone, chat, email, and text message. And uh, yeah, until the next Sprinkler Supply Store technical whiteboard, Happy sprinkling. We'll see you then.